want you to watch Murder Mountain on Netflix. <gasps> no. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I have you in my death. <laughs> I can't. I'm not ready. Hey babes, it's Winnie Jean. So today I'm here doing a tribal braid and bead look with a sewing in the back of my friend Lorelai. And you can find her on Instagram here. You can also follow me on Instagram here at Winnie Jean. And right now what I'm doing is just sectioning out this like top crown area of her head, which is where we're gonna put these two large braids. And I wanna just get everything sectioned and parted out before I really start styling. I find with like intricate hairstyles like these, it's best to section everything and clip everything up and out of the way so you can stay really organized and you know what you're doing with all of the hair. So right now I'm parting out the braid on the side and it's gonna be a little bit more than her edges. And to keep everything tame, when I start to braid the hair, I separate it like with the baby hairs and smooth everything in the right direction using a edge control. And the edge control that I'm using here is the Style Icon, no, the Style Factor edge control in the Scent Peach. It smells so good and it lasts really, really long. Especially if you tie your hair up at night, which I don't. <laughs> So to start this braid off on her edges, I'm going in with a little bit of Kanekalon hair and this is just to add a bit of length and thickness to the braid. Because we're not using very much hair, I'm using this Kanekalon to kind of keep everything thick. And once we get past the natural length of her hair, we can keep braiding so that we can add the beads onto the longer braid later. And it's gonna be super, super cute. I love this hairstyle. Um, she sent me the inspo. She was gonna do it on herself, and I was like, no, like, please let me do this. Like, I knew it was gonna come out so cute, and I know you guys would really, really like it. So, if you're enjoying this tutorial so far, make sure to subscribe to my channel and comment down below your favorite part about this hairstyle. So, now I'm just gonna keep on braiding and keep braiding until I get to nearly the end of the braid. And what I like to do is just put a little bit of edge control at the end to make sure it doesn't unravel while I work on the rest of her head. I love how she's just chilling and like damn near asleep while I'm braiding her hair. Girls like braiding to the hair and everything is low key kind of therapeutic. We were just like chilling and drinking wine and like. I don't know, this is super, super cute. All right, so I've sectioned that top section that we made into two parts. So she has like a middle part on top and now we're gonna do one of the braids at the front. So I'm just starting off by using a thin sliver of the hair and then continuing to braid backwards like normal until I get like to the end of her hair. I was gonna do a feed in braid, but I figured because this section of her hair was really, really thick that we wouldn't need the extra density throughout the root. So I'm just gonna go in and add some of the extension or Kanekalon hair towards the end of this braid instead of at the root to make sure that like we kind of maintain that same thickness down the braid. So here her hair is starting to kind of taper down. So I'm starting to add in the Kanekalon hair. So I'm just taking a small piece and adding it in each time that I do a little like twisting braiding motion and then continuing to do that until the hair is as thick as I want it to be and then I'll keep braiding down and add the edge control to this braid like I did the other one while we start to focus more on the sew-in portion of the style. So for the sew-in in the back, I'm doing much smaller braids, um, like a normal sew-in around the outsides, just so she can get that sleek ponytail that she wants. We left a bit of her edges out all the way around, and I'm sure she can do like a really, really cute bun with this style. And then on top, I have out about a half an inch around the top braided portion, as you can see here, where we're going to use to cover up the tracks. So all of the hair that's tied up and down on the side will be used to cover up the tracks and get flat irons and then the braids in the middle is where we're going to add on the extensions to um, and I believe in the middle I ended up using one pack of 24 inch a pack and a pack of 18 inch yeah no actually I used one 24 inch and two 18 inches and then I trimmed the 24 inch down a bit to keep my ponytails super smooth when I do sew-ins, I like to sew the first track under the braid. And I feel like this just allows for a more smooth ponytail. And not only that, because the track is under the braid, when you flip the track up, the braid is what's covering the track. So your hair is literally just there to help create a hairline. 
um, so it blends really really well and I find that this method works really good even if you're not leaving out your edges because it just allows for a nicer ponytail um, if you would like put like a scarf or something on top it's just a bit flatter no matter if you leave hair out or not it's my favorite technique um, and yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and braid this first track under the braid and continue to double the track oh and it's single so yeah, I'm braiding a single track under the braid. And then once I get past this first track, I start doubling them to get that fullness in the back, especially because we don't have like a full head to install track. So we're trying to really like utilize all of the space that we have to create a super full sew in and make it look all nice and beachy and full and luxurious and lavish and such, you know, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Now that I'm closer to the top, I'm starting to kind of like really, really, really double the tracks because I want it to be very, very full, especially because we're using a looser texture, wavy hair. I want it to be super full even after it's been installed for a little while because I feel like that's what's really giving this style that oomph, like it's giving it that like lived in, I don't know, pizzazz. And then now I'm going over, I've already sewn everything in and everything is like super good but I'm just going over my top track one more time to make sure that it's super flat and also that it doesn't move because she's gonna be doing a lot of ponytails and stuff I'm gonna just make sure it's super 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 secure now to straighten her hair I like to not go over the hair too much I've already put a heat protectant in it I want to say I use the redken one um, and I just comb everything out to make sure I don't hit any snags while I'm going through with the flat iron and I take the flat iron and kind of graze over the roots a few times and then I put in my comb and trace my comb with the flat iron this ensures that I don't have to go through her hair that many times as you can see here I straighten most of her hair literally in one pass um, and now I'm just gonna go for the ends the ends typically need a little bit more heat when it comes to like natural hair that isn't straight and often so I go over those about two times but not really really slow I kind of graze over them twice quickly to get them smooth now this is what the sew-in looks like after here's her ponytail and as you can see it looks super smooth and her hair is blended in really really well and it's so full in the middle that when I part it you can't see anything Now it's time for the accessories, which really made this look. We used some little hoops with feathers on them, some regular hoops, and then some really, really cute beads. And this is the final look. I love it. Let me know down below if you guys like it too. We can do it with us, I don't know what to do. At least these I don't know what to do. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see the first. Okay, okay, okay. Irene got caught in my hair. It's okay. <laughs> I can't. You know what? <laughs> oh, yes. I feel like I have a little devil horn or something. <laughs> my Instagram <laughs> is love.lorelai. Love. Normal. Period. Lorelai. L-O-R-E-L-A-I. The end. <laughs>